Today, we are going to learn about what scientists call a living fossil. Living fossils refer to species that have remained relatively unchanged throughout millions of years of evolution. We're talking about organisms that existed during the time of dinosaurs and still exist today. The living fossil we will be focusing on, you might have seen on your latest family beach trip. It's the Maryland horseshoe crab. The story starts with IMET's Dr. Suk Chung. This summer, Dr. Chung participated in the 2022 Maryland Department of Natural Resources Horseshoe Crab Survey, led by coastal fishery biologist Steve Doctor. On the evening of June 28th, the group set sail for Ocean City Inlet. Known as a place where horseshoe crabs come to mate and spawn, the group had no trouble finding these living fossils. Many of the horseshoe crabs were already paired for mating. The larger females can be seen here at the front, with the smaller males here at the back. As the females lay their eggs in the sand, the males excrete sperm for fertilization. To gain a better understanding of horseshoe crab development, Dr. Chung collected eggs from the sand, seen here by their pale green color. The eggs were then transported in a container of local seawater. Arriving at IMET, Dr. Chung replaced the water with clean salt water and waited. She waited 10 days and saw no change. Then, incredibly, something started to happen. She watched the eggs as they began to look like this. All animals with hard shells, like horseshoe crabs, go through a process called molting. Molting is when the animal sheds its shell in order to grow its body size. Amazingly, for horseshoe crabs, this process starts when they are still in the egg. Here you can see the molting stages of the horseshoe crab embryo. The first molt occurs at stage B, while the second molt occurs moving from stage C to stage D. Here you can see the thin shell being shed within the egg. A lot of activity can start to be seen between stages C and D. The embryos are still inside their envelope, like a balloon, but they can move around by pushing the envelope with their legs. Sometimes they can even be seen doing cartwheels. The last molting occurs right before hatching. Here you can see the baby horseshoe crab immediately begins to swim. Unsure of what the babies feed on, Dr. Chung offers them different types of zooplankton. Despite their lack of teeth, she soon found the baby horseshoe crabs were catching and feeding on the live zooplankton seen here. Of the 100 eggs harvested the evening of July 28th, Dr. Chung was able to hatch and develop all 100. We at IMET are excited to follow Dr. Chung in her journey to learn more about this fascinating living fossil. And we hope you are too.